back to my channel. So as you can tell by the title of today's video, today we are going to be doing another this or that, but this one is going to be animal edition or pet edition and insect and reptile edition. If you guys have never seen me do one of these videos on my channel before, I did do this on my channel, I believe once or twice before, where it was like a tattoos and piercings one, where people would have me pick between like, would you rather get this tattoo or that piercing? And I would have to choose. I really wanted to do another video like this, and I decided to kind of focus it on another one of my loves, which is animals. And I asked you guys a very, very long time ago, I'm not even gonna lie, I totally forgot that I had planned to do this video. So I asked you guys on Instagram to do this, have me choose between certain animals and I would tell you my answers in a video. So that's what we're gonna be doing. So yeah, I'm just going to read your responses and we are gonna choose between what you guys want me to choose. The very first one is small dog or big dog. Honestly, I'm gonna have to choose small dog. I really, really like small dogs and I'm kind of biased because I've always had small dogs before. I'm a very small statured person. So for me, it's a lot easier to handle a smaller dog. I would love to eventually have a big dog someday, but definitely I'm gonna have to go with small dogs on this one. The next one is puppies or senior dogs. 100% senior dogs. I love, 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 love senior dogs so, so much. It's literally like one of my passions and goals in life is to to adopt and foster and take care of senior dogs. Like I would love to eventually, you know, almost become kind of like a hospice home for senior dogs. Like, you know, senior dogs that have been sitting in a shelter or senior dogs that have like disabilities. I would love to bring them into my home and just give them, you know, a calm and comfortable last few years or months of their life. I just, I don't know what it is, but when it comes to seeing puppies, and then senior dogs, I just gravitate more towards the seniors. The next one is an Irish wolf dog or a golden doodle. Really easy, 100% Irish wolf dog. I am someone who doesn't support doodle breeding. Um, I don't hate doodles because it's not their fault. I don't support the overabundance of doodle breeding and backyard breeding that is happening with doodles in this country right now. I think it is disgusting and I don't support purchasing doodles either. Um, if you really want a doodle that bad, go to a shelter because shelters are overflowing with doodles now because nobody knows how to handle them or take care of them. So we're in like a doodle epidemic right now and I would never own one, I would never you know, purchase one from a breeder, absolutely not. Irish wolf dogs are amazing dogs. They are absolutely giant. They are one of the largest dog breeds in the entire world. If I could choose between the two, 100% it would be an Irish wolf dog. This next one is German Shepherd or Husky. Oh boy, oh boy, okay, so. If you guys have been following my channel for a really long time, I believe in a lot of my older, older videos, I think I've said a few times that one of the breeds that I would love to have is a German Shepherd. I used to love German Shepherds. I wanted one so bad in the worst way. Like I just thought they were the most beautiful dogs, which they are, German Shepherds are, so damn striking. Like every time I see one, I'm always in absolute awe of their beauty. They're just gorgeous, gorgeous dogs. And I really, really wanted one. Well, then I got into the animal industry and I got into the pet grooming industry. And I learned very, very quickly that I would never, ever, ever want to own a German Shepherd. I find that a lot of the German Shepherds that I have as clients, uh, they are very, very anxious. They are fear biters. They are aggressive. Um, I have gotten hurt a few times by German Shepherds. Sadly, it has completely turned me off from the breed. Now, it's not necessarily the dog's fault why they are that way. When you are getting a dog that is so intense like a German Shepherd and you don't know what you're doing and you're an inexperienced German Shepherd owner, they, that can be one hell of a liability. German Shepherds need somebody with experience. They need somebody with confidence. They need someone with an alpha attitude because otherwise, 
oh boy, that is, that is a mess. And unfortunately, I have seen one too many German Shepherds with behavior problems or a bite history or aggression issues. And it's just something that I don't think that I could handle personally as a pet owner. I don't think I have, you know, the confidence that you need to have a German Shepherd. So while I always wanted one, I no longer want a German Shepherd. Um, I love them from afar. Um, I think they're absolutely beautiful. Huskies, <laughs> if you have a Husky, you know, you know why I'm laughing. They are, they are characters, man. They are some of the funniest dogs ever. Like, I love being around Huskies. And I think if I had to choose, I would definitely get a Husky because I don't know. I just feel like they would just make me laugh every day. Like they're just funny dogs. They're hilarious. The only downside is the hair. I don't know how I would handle all of that hair because that just sounds so overwhelming. Like German Shepherds too. Like if you have owned either one of those dogs, it is literally like hair city all the time. So while I don't think I would enjoy the hair all over my house and in my body, um, I would definitely choose a Husky over a German Shepherd for sure. Here's another one. Would you rather have a German Shepherd or a Boxer? So both of these breeds are, you know, very, you know, hard headed. They're very like, you know what I mean? They're just very high energy, you know, kind of dogs. But again, if I had to choose, it would probably be a Boxer. Just because of my experience with German Shepherds, I don't know. I, I'm honestly kind of scared of German Shepherds now. So I would probably get a Boxer, even though Boxers, I haven't had like the best experience with them, but I've definitely had more worse experiences with German Shepherds. So definitely a Boxer. I'd want a Boxer. This one is, would you rather get a snake or a sugar glider? Hands down, this is easy. 110% I would get a sugar glider. Snakes scare the shit out of me. Not, they don't scare me as much as spiders, but um, snakes, oh my, they give me the heebie fucking jeebies. I don't like them. I don't like their face. That Something about their face scares me. I don't like snake faces. I don't like the way they stare at you. It just, it makes me like want to curl up in a ball and just scream bloody murder. I don't know. Snakes really scare me. Sugar gliders, boy would I have my hands full, but they would be a lot more fun and they probably won't, you know, try to strangle me in my sleep. They'd just be flying around my house, which I would much rather have. So a sugar glider and they're really cute too. Would you rather get a hamster or a turtle? Ooh, that's hard because I love both. I really do love both. Uh, can I choose both? <laughs> maybe, maybe a hamster just because I have more experience with hamsters than I do turtles, but I really do like turtles. I think turtles are really cute. I, if I could, I would choose both, but if I have to make a, cho a choice between the two, probably a hamster because they're just, they're cute. I, like just put them in their little ball and just have them run around my house like, <laughs> I can't, that's so cute. This one is Black Tri Aussies or Meryl Aussies. So um, again, this is from my experience. I have groomed hundreds of Australian Shepherds and again, they are amazing, gorgeous dogs. And I have groomed both Black Tri Aussies. I have also groomed Red Merrells and I have also groomed Merrells. And my all-time favorite, just from my personal experience with them, my all-time favorite are the Merrill Aussies. Black Tri Aussies, um, eh, they, they're, they kind of, they can be a little sketchy. They can be a little sketchy, but I think personally, if I had to choose, I would choose a Merrill Aussie and I would want a female. Just from my own personal experiences with them, I have just always had the best time with the Merrill Aussies, but they're all beautiful. You know, I'm not gonna discriminate, but if I have to choose the Merrill Aussies, they're so pretty. Ooh, this is a good one. Rescues or breeders? Okay, so that is a very, very, very good one. So I feel like it depends on the situation. Me, I have always been known to go towards the rescue side of things, but I have also gotten dogs from a breeder before. And I see no issue with either one of them, especially breeders, as long as they are done 
ethically. There are a lot of unethical backyard breeders who do not do the proper temperament testing, health testing. They are breeding dogs just for money. They're not, they're not doing it to preserve a bloodline. You know, a lot of them are doing it for greed and I do not agree with that. Avril, for example, she is a Pomeranian Chihuahua and she was an accidental breeding so I did get her from a breeder, I guess, but it, she was an accident and I took her, you know, I didn't rescue her or anything. So I think it really kind of all depends on your situation. If you are someone who really wants to, you know, have a purebred dog from a champion bloodline and you want to preserve that bloodline and you want to represent the breed, 100% go with a breeder. If you are wondering how to go about finding a breeder, the AKC website, you can actually search for registered licensed breeders for the breed that you want. I don't really recommend going on to like Craigslist or um, Facebook or anything like that or Google because you never really know what you're gonna get so I feel like if you want to go with a breeder for a certain purebred dog definitely go through a proper website like AKC or something like that just to make sure that you are getting quality bloodlines you know what I mean does that make sense but if you are someone who is willing to go with the rescue that is fine too now I do see some cons with rescuing as well because when you do rescue a dog you don't really know their history you don't really know their past you don't really know where they come from so that can be a little bit difficult and you don't really know what you're bringing into your home when you have a rescue because you're getting to know them and then sometimes certain things can come up about this dog or cat that you rescued and it can be concerning things. So I can see how both are bad, but I can also see how both are beneficial. So I can't really choose on this one because it all depends on the situation. It all depends. Like if I saw a senior dog at a shelter, 100% I'm rescuing. Or if I see a dog at a shelter that I want, 100% I'm gonna rescue. If I want a, you know, if I, cause you know, I am a groomer. If I ever decided to get into show grooming and I wanted to get like a golden retriever or a poodle has a perfectly bred bloodline, I'm gonna go to a breeder. Does that make sense? I'm not exactly one or the other. I'm even on both and it just really depends on the situation. This one is, would you rather have a cat or a snake? Again, super easy one. Give me all the cats, all the cats, no snakes. No snakes, please. I do not want any snakes anywhere near or around me at all. Ugh, I can't, <laughs> but the kind of cat is very important. The kind of cat that I want more than anything is a Sphinx. Oh my gosh, I have never seen a cat cuter than a Sphinx. The little hairless ones, these little guys. Oh my God, I love Sphinx cats. And benefit, they don't shed because they're naked. So yeah, a cat, but it has to be a Sphinx. Oh, this one's a good one. Chocolate lab or a black lab? Okay, all right, here we go. So there are three different colorways of lab, Labrador retrievers. You have the yellow lab, you have the black lab, and you have the chocolate lab. I know some people will say that silver labs are a thing, but they are not. There is, they are bred to have that silver gene. If you want a silver lab, just get a Weimaraner, okay? We're not including silver labs into this equation. So there are three, yellow, black, and chocolate. And I have had experiences with all three. And here is my breakdown of equation of all of these labs. You have the yellow lab. They are basically humans in dog fur, okay? They are very loyal. They look at you with human eyes. They are fantastic, love yellow labs. Then you have the black labs, which I am convinced are pure angels from heaven. I don't know what it is about black labs, but they are some of the sweetest dogs that I have ever had the pleasure of meeting on this planet. I love black labs. And then you have the chocolate labs. Those are crackheads <laughs> in dog fur. <laughs> Every chocolate lab I have ever met has just been so crazy and neurotic. They're very cute and they're fun, but holy shit, they are so overwhelming. So this one is black lab or chocolate lab. 
1000% I'm gonna choose a black lab. I love their personality. I love everything about them. Chocolate labs, in my experience, I feel they're just a little bit too crazy for me. And they're always like, th the personality difference in every single colorway is just so different within them. It's so crazy, I don't know what it is, but I love chocolate labs because they're beautiful, but I think it would be a bit too much for me. Whereas black labs, give me all the black labs, all the black labs. This one is, would you rather have a snake or a lizard? Uh, again, really easy. Give me a lizard, <laughs> any lizard. I'll take any lizard over a snake, no snakes. <laughs> oh, I can't with snakes. Oh, this one, a tarantula or a scorpion. You guys, I can't. A tarantula or a scorpion. I am deathly afraid, if you guys don't know this about me, I am deathly afraid of spiders, all spiders. It doesn't matter what kind. I do not like them. They make me sick. The, the, the main thing I do not like about spiders is I don't like watching them walk. Like if they're just sitting there, you know, I can handle it. But as soon as they start walking, I don't know what it is, but it just sets something off inside me and I just can't handle it. I can't handle watching spiders crawl and walk. There is just something so nauseating about that. Um, <clears throat> scorpions, uh, I actually have a pretty crazy story about a scorpion. So uh, my half brother, I do have a half brother for those of you who don't know. Well, when I was a kid, my half brother would go and spend summers in Arizona with his dad. And there was a time where he came back to Michigan from Arizona and Arizona, there are scorpions in Arizona. And as my mom was helping him unpack his luggage, there was a scorpion inside of his luggage from Arizona, like a scorpion crawled inside of his luggage. And I remember, like, I can literally still hear my mom scream to this day. This is when I was like very, very young, but it's one of those like core memories that's like burned into my brain. But I literally will never forget my mom screaming and running outside with the suitcase and just shaking it because there was literally a scorpion inside of his luggage. And ever since then, I've been scared of scorpions just because of my mom's reaction. I don't really like either of them, to be perfectly honest with you. Maybe a tarantula. Okay, I can't believe I'm saying this, but maybe a tarantula because I can just like leave them, you know, in their little like box or wherever you keep them. And I just have to just like throw food in there every once in a while. And tarantulas only have one weapon, most of them, and that's their fangs. Whereas the scorpions, they have the little things and they have their little tail, the little Barbie thing. I know there are some tarantulas that like shake those poisonous barbs off their body, which fuck that shit. But I think... I would feel safer if I had a tarantula. Maybe, I don't know. I Granted, I'm not getting either one of those things because I did, no, mm -mm, not in my house. But uh, maybe a tarantula and just keep them away, far away. And I just throw food in every once in a while and I don't have to worry about getting pinched by their little hands, you know what I mean? All right guys, we're gonna do a couple more. Uh, this one is a pet giraffe or an elephant. 100% an elephant. Oh my gosh, elephants are so cute. I love elephants. So 100% give me an elephant, especially when they're babies. Freaking stop it right now. <gasps> I can't with the babies. And this one really isn't a this or that, but this one is what are your thoughts on pit bulls? I have absolutely no issue with pit bulls. I love pit bulls. I think they are so freaking cute. They are literally little lazy house hippos. Pit bulls are the best. I love pit bulls. I have never had a bad experience with one. Well, I, I did have one bad experience where one charged at me, but uh, that I'm not gonna put it on the whole breed as a whole. Uh, that pit bull just for whatever reason did not like me and it almost um, ripped my butt cheek off. <laughs> uh, that was not good. So fun, they're so cute. Their big boxy head, like, uh, I just, I can't. They're so freaking cute, I love them. Okay guys, and that is everything that I'm going to answer for this, this or that pet edition. Thank you guys so much for participating 
participating and submitting. I know I literally asked to do this like forever ago and I just forgot about it. I'm so sorry about that, but we did it, we got it, and I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And let me know your guys' answers down below. Like what would you choose between these options? I would really love to know. If you guys did enjoy this video, please go down, give a huge thumbs up, make sure you subscribe, turn on all notifications so you don't miss out on any future videos from me. But as the rest of you, I love you guys so very much. Thanks again so much for watching. I hope this was fun and I will see you very soon in my next video. I love you guys. Bye. Mwah.